Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Johnny Jet here with another episode of Journey to Journey of Wrestling. Guys, we just started the series. We drafted our roster last episode. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. But I'll give you a brief rundown just in case. We went ahead. We are World Championship Wrestling. The year is 1996. It is June of 1996, which according to Wikipedia, yeah, apparently the Great American Bash did happen in June of that year. I always assumed that the Great American Bash happened in July. It always felt like it did when I was a kid, but hey, I might have been wrong. Um, so we got the Great American Bash coming up pretty quick here. Brief rundown of our roster for those who uh, are just tuning in. We've got Randy Savage and Sting as our two main eventers. Both of them are baby faces. Uh, Sting, we are being tasked with making him the face of the company, or at least a face of the company. And additionally, we also have Steve Austin, who at this time in real life would have been gearing up for his big push, his... Uh, crowning achievement, really, starting out the the Austin 316 thing, but uh, it's not going to happen in this timeline. Not that way, anyway. Um, so Steve Austin, we've got him, we've got Vader, we've got Lex Luger, Dr. Death Steve Williams, Diamond Dallas Page, Arn Anderson, we've got Harlem Heat, we've got uh, Fire and Ice, we've got Shane Douglas on the roster, we have down here in our lower card, Hayabusa. We've got uh, Chris Jericho. We've got the Dudley Boys, Dean Malenko, Rob Van Dam, the Smoking Guns, Rey Mysterio Jr., the Eliminators, Glacier, who we're going to be building a lot of, of stuff around, um, at least for the like TV title picture. Uh, we've got the American Males. We've got uh, Barry Windham. We have Norman Smiley, Disco Inferno, Marty Jannetty, and we've got uh, Marty Jannetty and Al Snow, the new rockers. Eddie Guerrero, Viscera, who is going to be one of Glacier's biggest rivals. We've got uh, Christopher Daniels. We've got Scotty Riggs, who is also one of the American males. We have The Brood, which we formed a little bit early in this timeline. Jerry Lynn, the Yeti. Uh, Bob Holly, of course. Also Crash Holly. We've got the Holly Cousins a little bit early again. Uh... Chavo, we've got Kidman, we've got uh, Bobby Duncombe Jr., who's going to be teaming with Bradshaw as the West Texas Rednecks. We've got Tajiri, we've got Lance Storm, and then in our undercard, our, our jabronis, our job guys. We do have the Hardy Boys a little bit early. They're going to be jobbing out. We've got Steve Corino, we've got Chris Canyon, Spike Dudley. It's good. It's a good roster. We've got a lot of solid tag teams. Um I'm excited. I think this is going to be a really good program. And right now I'm just going to get into booking the territory properly here. Because uh, we do have to book toward the Great American Bash. Unfortunately, we don't have any, like, you know, weekly shows leading up to the Bash. So what I'm going to do, because I want to do some stuff to establish people and build, I'm going to run a tournament early on here. Um, I am going to run the... Great American Bash series. This is going to be a round robin tournament. Two groups. Uh, how many people can I put in here? 12? Is 12 the maximum number I can put into? Uh, or can I do can I do 24 or can I just do 12? Hmm. I feel like I should put the US title on the line rather than the world title, since it is the Great American Bash. And it is the the Bash series. I think I'm going to put the uh, the U.S. title on the line for this one. Uh, and I'm going to, let's see, two people advance, semifinals at the event. If I can do four, I want to do four. Because I want to do as many matches as I can for this. Can I do 14? What is, what's divisible of four? 16. Um, if it'll let me. If it'll let me do this, I'm going to do this. So 16 for the for the uh, U.S. title, I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put Sting in there. He's good for the he's good for the U.S. title division. He'll make it look good. Uh, Arn Anderson, of course, also his his rival in there. Uh, Vader and Savage. There, I don't know if I want to put Vader in there. Vader should be like a world title kind of guy. But who's Vader feuding with right now? Who did I set him up against? Luger? I think it was Luger and Vader. I think I had them going up against each other. And, and Sting was going up against Anderson. And then Austin was going up against Savage. I think that's how I had it set up in my head. 
Um, so we'll go ahead. We'll put DDP in there. We'll put Shane Douglas in there. Uh, and that's going to be four guys. We need to do uh, <laughs> we need to do a few more than that. So let's see. Let's move it down a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll throw Rob Van Dam in there. We'll throw Glacier into it for sure. Glacier needs to get over. We'll put Lance Storm in there. We'll put the Yeti. We'll do we want the Yeti? Maybe maybe not. Maybe not the Yeti. We might do Viscera instead. Viscera might be a better a better choice for that. We'll do Viscera. We'll do uh, Gangrel. We'll do not Bob Holly necessarily. Jerry Lynn, sure. How many guys is that? That's ten. We need six more. Okay. I might put I might put Lex in there. Lex and Vader are feuding right now. I don't think I have anybody for Steve Williams right the second. I might need to find somebody for Steve Williams to feud with. Hmm. I'll put Steve Williams in there. I'll put Lex. I'll put Vader. I need three more. Let me see. Let me find a promising young star down here in the undercard who I can probably put up against, who I can probably build into a feud with, uh, with Steve Williams. Um, I might throw Eddie Guerrero in there. Eddie Guerrero could be a good little workhorse for us. Um, I don't want to put a lot of cruiserweights in there because I'm going to book the cruiserweights separately, mostly from the main, the big guys, at least early on until I can build up the cruiserweight division and they can graduate to the heavyweight division. Uh, I'm going to treat the cruiserweight division more like a junior heavyweight title. Um, I might do Jericho. Jericho could be a good a good little slotted in person there. And I'll I'll go ahead, I'll do Barry Windham. I'll put Barry Windham in there. I'll put Barry Windham in there. Yeah. This is a this is a good a good team. Good group here. So create groups. Uh, quarterfinals are gonna be at the event. So that'll give us a lot of matches to have at the bash. That'll be fun. Um all right, let's see. Sting, DDP, RVD. Let me see. I want. I might want to. Yeah, I might want to keep some of these guys who are feuding away from each other, but I don't know if I want to keep all of them away from each other. So, Gangrel, I might swap out for. I'm. I'm. I want somebody here that's going to feud with Glacier. So I might swap Gangrel up here to take Jerry Lynn's place. And I might move Jerry Lynn. Hmm. I might move. Okay. Is RVD face or heel? I need to look real quick at RVD. He's a face. Okay. So Rob Van Dam, I might move him. I might move him down to replace like an Eddie Guerrero. And then I might move. No, that actually might work like this. Sting and DDP, Eddie Guerrero and Viscera, then Vader, Anderson, Glacier, and Gangrel, then Luger, Douglas, Wyndham, and Jerry Lynn. Yeah, this might work like this. This might be solid. I feel all right about this. I feel all right about this. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, yeah. 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 And then uh, let's go ahead. We'll we'll play the the Great American Bash series. We'll run this here, and let's see how it goes. And I'm gonna simulate this, and whoever moves on moves on. I'm not going to uh, I'm not gonna book the Great American Bash series because I want to I want it to be like I picked up the book at Great American Bash, or at least like right after it or whatever. And I'm just kind of dealing with the fallout of someone else's booking decisions leading up to that. So I'm gonna simulate up to the actual bash itself. Eddie Guerrero gets a nice win over, over DDP. Okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, oh man. I want sting to win this, but viscera might get it. Okay. Good, 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 good. Sting, sting gets a solid win there. Uh, Glacier and Arn Anderson. Ooh, Arn should win this, but I'm not mad if Glacier does, but okay. Arn Anderson. Good. Gangrel and Vader. Hmm. Vader, good, with Bobby Heenan in his corner. Good, good, good. Uh, Shane Douglas versus Barry Windham. 
good. Right Man won that, I feel like. Uh, Jerry Lynn versus Lex Luger. Luger goes over. Uh, this should be a this could be a star uh, a star making performance here. All right, Jericho gets a big win over uh, Van Dam there. Steve Williams doesn't get over at all from beating Lance Storm, but Lance Storm definitely loses something from it. Uh, DDP with a nice win over Viscera. Uh, Sting and Eddie Guerrero. Sting with a good win. Anderson versus Gangrel. Gangrel beats Arn Anderson. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little exciting for, for Gangrel. Uh, Glacier versus Vader. Glacier with a big win over Vader in the series. So we're building up Glacier. I like that. Um, Shane Douglas versus uh, Jerry Lynn. Jerry Lynn with the win. Okay. Barry Windham versus Luger. Luger goes over Barry Windham. Um, Jericho versus Storm. Ah, the <laughs> thrill seekers explode. Jericho wins. He doesn't gain anything from it, though. Uh, Van Dam versus Williams. This is kind of a feud I'm, I'm hoping to actually build up to a little bit. So we'll see how it goes here. Williams beats Van Dam. I think I could actually build that a little bit in the future. Um, Viscera versus Guerrero. Guerrero beats Viscera. Viscera jobbing out. That's unfortunate. That's not what you want. Uh, Sting versus DDP. Good. Good. Good, good, good. All right, so Sting and Eddie Guerrero moving to the knockout phase. Gangrel versus Glacier. Now, this is a feud. Gangrel wants to... Oh, Gangrel beats Glacier. Ooh. Arn Anderson versus Vader. Heel versus heel here. Anderson wins it. Jerry Lynn versus Barry Windham. Windham goes over. Douglas versus Luger. Luger goes over. Solid. Okay. Is there anybody who's... Okay, so people have advanced over here. That's good. Storm versus RVD. RVD goes over. Good. Jericho versus Steve Williams. Steve Williams wins that. Okay. So, the people who are going forward into the knockout stage and who will be showing up on the pay-per-view. Steve Williams and Jericho. Luger and Douglas. Gangrel somehow, and Arn Anderson, Sting, and Eddie Guerrero. Okay, so I'll actually be booking that, but these are matches that are happening on the uh, on the card here. And then I'm going to add a little bit more, going to add a little personal touch to it. Uh, I'm going to add the uh, singles match here for the Cruiserweight title. It's going to actually be, uh, I'm actually going to make this a battle royal. Cruiserweight title battle royal on the pay-per-view. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll throw in, let's say, Hayabusa for sure. Dean Malenko. Mysterio. Um, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero is going to be on the, in the is, is Eddie booked for the, yeah, Eddie's in the actual, the U.S. title picture right there. So I'm not going to book him for that. Um, we will put, we will put Kidman in there. We could put, uh, Tajiri in there. That'd be fine. Uh, Jericho's not going to, Jericho is going to be in the U.S. title match. So we're not going to put him in there. Uh, RVD, I want him to not be in the cruiserweight pitcher. We could do, we could do Norman Smiley. Norman Smiley would be fine. Disco is definitely a cruiserweight. We'll put him in there. We need three more. Jerry Lynn, even though he was just competing for the U.S. title in that bracket, we're going to throw him in there. Chavo, we'll throw him in. Um, and we might go with like a we might go with like Spike Dudley. Spike could be a good a good little addition to the the cruiserweight battle royal. Okay, so we'll book the cruiserweight battle royal to open the show here, and then we've got to book. Um, we got to book some matches in between these matches here. Um, all right, let's see. We got four matches left, so I want to move over to tag team action here. Um, let's see. Let's do. Man, there's a lot of options. There's just are, are options. I like that. 
Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with like Harlem Heat, and I want Harlem Heat going up against. Um, oh man, I could do like some feuds here. Um, Harlem Heat against, let's say. Harlem Heat versus the West Texas Rednecks. Let's do that. Let's go ahead. Let's book that one. And we'll move that later in the card to like right in right in here. Cruiserweight Battle Royal. Well, we, we should actually probably... I want to start the show with it, but moving it in here would probably be better. Because then that gives us all of these qualifier matches, the quarterfinals here. Um, we'll move this tag team action to here. And we'll put... Like, let's say the Dud Dudleys or the Gangstas. Who's more over? Dudleys? The Dudleys are slightly more over. The Dudleys versus the Smoking Guns. We'll book that one. Dudleys versus the Smoking Guns. We'll put that one right up in here. So we've got tag teams back-to-back -back right there. Um, we got two more matches. I don't want to do any segments or anything like that because I, I need to... I need to get like as much space between these early on matches here and then the. Although I might move, I, well, I don't really want to do that. I want I want some kind of something between these matches. I need a buffer between those matches and this, because um, otherwise, like these guys are going to be wore out by the time they get to this, and that's how you book it in, in real sports. You'd want to give them more of a break. Um, Gangsters versus the New Rockers would be funny. That could be a good one. That could be humorous. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna book that the gangsters versus the new rockers, and that'll be like right ahead of the uh, the cruiserweight title match there. And then we're gonna do a non-title singles match. We'll do a not a little non-title singles action here between. Well, maybe we do like a we could do like a tag team thing, but. No, 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 we won't. We'll just do, we'll do Savage versus Austin. We'll book that. And that's going to be a, a good feud right there. That'll be a good little feud. That's going to go ahead of the U.S. title match, which should main event the Great American Bash. This is going to eventually evolve into like a world title feud, but for right now, it's going to be just those two guys mad at each other, and I don't think I'm going to give like a decisive finish for that because I want it to continue, but um, but yeah, that's good. That's good. We got, this is a solid card, I feel like. I feel good about this card. Is there anything I can, is there anything I can do like to add like an angle? Will that take away from... Can I add like a little little promo? Oh, I can't book more than more segments. Okay, all right, that's what I wanted to know. All right, well, well I'm good with this though. I'm good with this. Let's go ahead. Let's play it. Let's do it. Let me just grab a little screenshot to start this one off here. We got Savage. We got Sting, and then we have I think Marty Jannetty. One of these things is not like the other. Um, but that's how we start. That's the Great American Bash. Hell yeah. All right. World Championship Wrestling presents the Great American Bash live on pay-per-view in front of a mostly packed audience. Fan interest is on par for the event. One of the most anticipated matches of the night is Randy Savage versus Steve Austin. Other matches that have the fans buzzing include Sting versus Chris Jericho and the Gangstas versus the New Rockers. So let's 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 get into it. Who okay, Azalea Lethal, good wrestling name, uh, has predictions for the Great American Bash 1996. Randy Savage and Steve Austin. She thinks Savage is going to win there. She thinks Harlem Heat is going to go over the West Texas Rednecks. She's probably right. Uh, she thinks the Dudleys are going to go over on the smoke. Oh no, she thinks the Smoking Guns are going to go over on the Dudleys, huh? That's what you think, is it? That's what you think. Well, you might be wrong on that one. Um, cruiserweight title. They think that Dean Malenko is going to walk away with the cruiserweight championship after the ten man battle royal. They think the gangsters are going to beat the new rockers. They're, yeah, that's probably true. They think Steve Williams is going to beat uh, Shane Douglas. Sting is probably going to beat Jericho. 
They don't think there's going to be a winner between Luger and Gangrel. They are wrong. <laughs> that is not the match where I would want to protect someone. <laughs> um, they think that Eddie Guerrero is going to beat Arn Anderson. That's... Let's see how those predictions play out. Yeah, let's... All right, so Eddie Guerrero and Arn Anderson. Um, let me see here. Arn is, Arn is feuding with Sting, so it makes sense for him to go over. I want to keep Eddie strong, though. Let me see what I can do about that. Um, Arn Anderson's going to cheat, or rather, uh, Bobby Heenan's going to cheat on his behalf. Yeah. Yeah, Arn Anderson goes over on Eddie. Bobby Heenan cheats on his behalf. That's that's how Arn moves forward. And we protect Eddie a little bit, maybe. Um, Luger versus Gangrel. <laughs> they think that Lex Luger is going to go to a no contest with Gangrel. They are wrong. Lex Luger is going to steamroll Gangrel. For sure. Um, okay. Jericho versus Sting. I I want Sting to move forward because he is feuding with Arn Anderson. I may be telegraphing just a little bit the uh, the conclusion to this U.S. title match, but um, let me see what I can do with this. Distraction count out. Time limit draw. No, none of that works for me. I'm going to just go ahead and put Sting over here. Yeah, Sting deserved that big win, and it's, yeah, yep. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, Steve Williams versus Shane Douglas. Now, I was wanting to build something between these two. So, I'm what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go with... Hmm. I'm going to go with a double pin. I'm going to go with a double pin on this one. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, no, this is fine. I'm going with a double pin. Nobody wins this one. Nobody wins. Nobody moves forward on that one. Unless we unless that moves them into a another match later on or something. But yeah. Nobody wins this one. Shane Douglas gets a little bit more over from it. That means I can move them into a program with each other. Doctor Death versus the the alleged franchise. That's good. Um, gangsters are going to definitely beat the new rockers for sure. And then we have the cruiserweight title battle Royal. I'm going to simulate this one. I'm not going to pick a winner and I'm just going to book uh, going forward with the cruiserweight champion, whoever wins this Dean Malenko. Their prediction was right. Dean Malenko won it. What? <laughs> oh no. It, oh no. Oh no, Ray Mysterio got injured. Okay, and, and Dean Malenka was the one who, who injured him. Oh man. And he was the second last person eliminated, too. Ooh. So Dean Malenko is going to have a big, big feud with Ray Mysterio once Ray comes back. Hopefully he's not injured for too long. Uh, let's, at least it's not a, a serious injury, but oof. Um, okay. Arn Anderson versus versus uh, Lex Luger. Uh, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna once again have. Or maybe he's distracted this time. Maybe it's not a. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not like that. Maybe it's a distraction. Maybe maybe uh, maybe Heenan distracts Lex this time, and that's how that's how Arn Anderson goes over. I li I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. Yeah. And then, for some reason, Shane Douglas goes up against Sting. And I don't know why, because that was a double pin. I specifically tried to end that without a finish. But I wanted Sting to just get a bye, I guess. But I, I really would have preferred it to be Anderson who got the bye. But I didn't know how that tournament was going to work out, I guess. But uh, Sting is for sure going to go over on, on Shane Douglas. Good match there. Four and, a, four and a half stars on that one. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Dudleys are definitely going to beat the Smoking Guns, for sure. Solid match. And then uh, Harlem Heat is going to beat the rest of the West Texas Rednecks. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Austin versus Savage. One of our semi-main events. Uh, they're going to go to a time limit draw. They're going to go to a time limit draw. And uh, it's going to be in Austin's favor, I guess. But, yeah, time limit draw between them. The feud must continue. Yeah. All right, let's look at this. Bubba's starting to get over. Okay, so the feud started between them. Good. All right. Cool. Continue. And then in our main event, Sting versus Arn Anderson with Bobby Heenan for the U.S. Championship. I think Sting has to win this, but I don't want to. I don't want to bury Arn Anderson. Um, oh, I could just have the ring collapse. That's a that's a a great a great finish, right? That's a great finish for the this feud. Um, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna have the ring collapse. No, Sting is going to beat Arn Anderson. And wow, he got over from that. Wow, he got over from that. Uh-huh. Progressed from from average to good. The feud between Anderson and and Ar- and uh Sting started up here. Good. Good, good, good. Yes, continue. End of the event. Let's look back on this in wonder. All right. Um, let's see. Yep. Prestige got went up a little bit. Our reputation went up a little bit. I feel I feel good about the show overall. This was solid. And let's continue. Let's let's look at it now. All right. We had far and away the highest buys. We had the best buys. Um but we didn't have the best show. Now that was New Japan. Best of the Super Juniors had a much better show than than our uh, than the Great American Bash. But let's look at the let's look at the spectator. Rey Mysterio was out for two months with a dislocated shoulder. Sting and Anderson put on an amazing match, classic match between Steve Austin and Randy Savage. Fantastic match between Douglas and Sting. Uh, Sting just on fire, having some amazing, fantastic. And uh, also amazing matches <laughs> against the likes of Arn Anderson and Shane Douglas and Chris Jericho. And for some reason, Roy Knight is going to the World Wrestling Federation. Dr. David Schultz, their new WWF champion. Farouk, about to come back to the WWF. Mankind and Hulk Hogan having amazing matches at the King of the Ring. Okay, well, things are ha- certainly happening. All right, Rey Mysterio could be out up to four months. That's unfortunate. Um, but everything else is looking pretty okay. Um, Body Donna's, that scouting thing has, has been done. Uh, Tito Santana is available on the indies. Okay, well, at least it's just a dislocated shoulder. It could be a lot worse. Rub some dirt in it. You'll, you'll be fine. Um, okay. Yeah, we got, we got Sting as your, as your new U.S. champion. We've got Dean Malenko as your new cruiserweight champion. We've got to crown a world champion. We'll probably be doing that going into or at the Bash at the Beach, one of the two. Uh, TV champion, we need to crown one of those. We need to crown a a tag team champions. But I feel good overall. I feel pretty solid about, uh, how this is working out. Um... I feel all right about this. I feel like we're, we're starting out pretty hot here. And we're, we're going to start the, the Luger Vader feud. We'll, we'll definitely do that. Um, these feuds are already pretty over. They're already got some, some hype around them. That's good. Um, let's, let me look real quick. Let's see if there's anything. 
Let's look at the rankings. Sting, 6-0. and He's number one in the U.S. So that's, that's super hype. Um, oh, right. I needed to add a feud here between Shane Douglas and Steve Williams over that double pin. Yeah, and they have backstage heat, so that's what that's what that is. What? What is the, who who do, what faction does someone lead here? Shane Douglas does he lead Does he lead this triple threat a thing? Is the triple threat a thing? I don't know. I don't know. But it's a, it's a hot it's a hot feud. So, yeah, head hunting sure why not uh I'll, I'll let me look at those rankings now <laughs> sting at the top of the rankings lex luger in the second place at um in second place right now steve williams three and oh in third arn anderson four and two he is fourth. Dean Malenko shot right up there. Captured that cruiserweight title. He's ranked five. Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho, Gangrel, Vader, and Rob Van Dam round out your top ten here in World Championship Wrestling. Meanwhile, in the competition, J.T. Smith, the number one wrestler in the World Wrestling Federation. Second is Dr. David Schultz, the WWF heavyweight champion. Tatanka, Masato Tanaka, Johnny Saint, Tiger Mask 4, Hulk Hogan, your Intercontinental Champion, The Barbarian, and Mankind, and who else? Crush. Those are your top guys in WWF. They're having a worse time now than they did in real life. Um, ECW, Jinochiro Tenryu, ECW World Champion, Ron Garvin, Tony Atlas, Jumbo Surata, one Man Gang, Lord Steven Regal, Robert Gibson, the ECW Television Champion, R Brian Knobs, Austin Idol, and Savio Vega, the top guys over there right now. And in New Japan, Brian Pillman tops the ranks. Undertaker is the, is the Junior Heavyweight Champion. Yuji Nagata, number three. Psychosis. Uh, Misawa, number five the IWGP heavyweight champion. Some would perhaps say that Undertaker is more of a heavyweight than Misawa, but I don't, I mean, you know. Anyway, Big Bubba Rogers, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Jerry Lawler, Robbie Brookside, and Koji Kanemoto topping the rankings there. Then we'll go to, over to USWA real quick. Davey Boy Smith at the very top of the heap there, ahead of Hiroshi uh, Hiroyoshi Tan Tenzan, uh, Mikey Whipwreck, Vampiro, Mil Mascarez, Paul Orndorff, Steve Mongo McMichael, Jake the Snake Roberts, Big T, and Goldust. And then, in WAW, the World Association of Wrestling, Kaiji Muto, your World Heavyweight Champion, Paul Roma, then the Dynamite Kid, then... The Great Kabuki, Scott Hall, Roddy Piper, Yokozuna, Shinya Hashimoto, and Rick Rude. And then someone else down here, Sabu. Sabu, of course. So those are the top guys right now in each of the companies. So that's exciting. That's fun. I don't think we've got anything there. We can't do that just yet. Um, Nothing really needs to be done right this second. So I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cut it off right about here. Uh, I will do more. Uh, I will do, I'll do more of this series and I'm going to do more fire promoter in the immediate future. Just right now it's easier for me to record something that doesn't have me being loud. Um, but I'll be doing, I'll be returning fire promoter very soon guys, but I hope you're enjoying this series as well. I'm having fun with it. Uh, it's more of a, actual booking simulator than fire promoter um with a, a little bit more you know planning and stuff like that going into it but uh i'm enjoying it i hope you guys are having a good time if you are please do the youtube stuff you know what it is like comment and subscribe ring the damn bell for more notifications about when things are dropping you know what it is anyway but just ring the bell because it helps me a lot um and uh you know 
hey man, if there's anything that you guys think I should be doing with this with this particular booking series or with Fire Promoter, leave it down in the comment section. I promise I will read every comment and uh, give it serious consideration. If I don't act upon it, I you know I'll still I will think about it at the very least. Um, please leave me some some uh, some advice if you got any or thoughts, comments, whatever. Um, happy to hear from you guys. Just gonna go ahead and cut it off right here. Thanks for watching, guys. And bye for now.